the never-ending drama of Faith Evans? Was she caught in the crossfire of Biggie and Tupac's feud? Or was it a revenge plot for her husband's fling with Lil' Kim? I got a phone call the next day. He called me and he's like, I did it. And I'm like, what? What you did? He's like, he's like, that bitch just left my hotel. Brace yourselves, she married her son's godfather, Stevie J. Talk about mixing business with pleasure. But was it a match made in heaven or just another questionable decision on her part? The rumor mill is spinning and everyone's dying to know the real story behind this unexpected union. Hang on tight, this story is about to get seriously messy. Faith Evans married the godfather of her son. When asked how his father would have felt about it, Evan's son, Christopher Jr., replied, Listen, almost 20 years had passed. I'm sure he would be happy that she's happy. Stevie J and Faith Evans married in a surprise wedding in 2018 in their Las Vegas hotel room. But they have been longtime friends for more than 20 years. However, after three years of troubled marriage, all the love and friendship seem to have fizzled out. Stevie J paints a saintly picture of himself on social media, but the man was up to no good. Long before their surprise wedding, Faith Evans and Stevie J had a brief relationship just after Stevie and Jocelyn Hernandez broke up. But to her dismay, Faith discovered that Stevie J was still carrying on with his ex Jocelyn while Faith and Stevie were together. I wasn't quite sure whether or not he was still involved with his ex. So, you know, when you kind of told me you guys weren't together, and then shortly thereafter, you know, finding out that you still kind of were, I think that's probably when I stepped away. Because I'm not a man stealer, a home wrecker, you know. Faith was distraught and broke up with Stevie J. But Jocelyn, Mimi Faust, and Stevie J's saga continued well into 2017. Cheating came naturally to Stevie J. Do you remember when he tried to make up with Mimi Faust while living with Jocelyn? In one Love and Hip Hop episode, Stevie J tried to make amends with Mimi Faust after a breakup. Things were a little rusty with Stevie J and Jocelyn too, but Jocelyn was willing to go far to make her family work. Sure, I would love for my family to work out, but I got this gut feeling this dude is still up to no good. She could not have been more right. A few minutes into the episode, she discovered that Stevie J had been living in the house with Mimi Faust, whom she thought to be his ex. And Stevie J got the beating of his life from Jocelyn. I'm, I'm, I want to know that. Right now, Jocelyn, you guys living together? Yes, I'm in the house. Yes, I have been there. Stevie J filed for divorce on November 8, 2021. In the divorce filing, he asked for spousal support from Evans. Even though details of the court settlement were not disclosed, it's rumored that Evans was ordered to pay Stevie 30 k monthly. The divorce was bitter, and it took two years of court struggle to end three years of marriage. The couple had been separated since 2020 after Faith Evans got busted for attacking Stevie J at home. After a heated argument turned violent, Stevie J had to call in law enforcement to escape his beautiful but raging wife. When the officers arrived, they found visible marks and scratches on Stevie J's face. The police arrested Faith Evans for domestic violence but bailed the next day. Did Faith Evans fall into Tupac's well-planned trap? You must have heard about the rivalry between musical giants Tupac and Biggie Smalls. But did you realize Faith Evans was in the middle of the controversy? When Faith Evans, who was married to Biggie, became pregnant, Biggie accused her of carrying Tupac's child. You can imagine Biggie's rage with all the media covering the story and being shamed in front of all his friends. Evans became so scared by the turn of events and Biggie's rage that she left her hotel room with her daughter. However, only Faith Evans knew what happened on that fateful night, which she had kept secret for years. It all started with Tupac asking her to record a song with him. Tupac told Evans he was a big fan and wanted to work with her, and Tupac offered her 25 k to write and record a hook, but she immediately felt something was wrong when she got to the studio. It was just all such a very weird moment for me to be in this place and kind of almost realizing that I don't think I'm supposed to be here. She said. Once the recording was over, Tupac tells her that his manager will bring the check to his hotel room and they can drive there to get it. She needed the money, so she agreed to go, and many of Tupac's friends were there drinking in the room. His manager was going to bring the check to his room. 
We could drive to the hotel. I can go. We can go get it. Especially in this situation. I'm like, I definitely got to get my money. When we get into his room and his friends, they all, you know, kicking it and having drinks and smoking. And, you know, I just kind of felt it becoming a little menacing in a way. But there was no check waiting at the hotel, and she got the shock of her life. Tupac told me that I have to suck his thing to get the money. He said that I needed to suck his to get my money. Evans was so humiliated and offended, she cried a little and decided to leave. She never got her money, and Tupac and his friends, who had planned it all along, spread the story anyway, saying Tupac slept with Evans to get back at Biggie. Unwittingly, she had played right into Tupac's plan. As expected, this got Biggie screaming mad. Evans barely got to say anything other than, no, I did not do it. Evans got caught up in the middle of the war between the East and West Coast. I got a phone call the next day. He called me and he's like, I did it. And I'm like, what? What you did? He's like, he's like, that bitch just left my hotel. I could say this. That man ain't never lied to me one day in his life. I've never caught him in a lie. So you knowing Tupac and you knowing his character, you do believe he had relations with Faith. You don't see him lying about that. Yeah, I believe it. Why would he why would he call me of all people? So with a hundred percent certainty. Yeah, he f her. If you look at the women that he's he's been with, they're all beautiful women. Why lie on your dick with Faith? It, there's nothing to lie about. Like I said, she's a lady. She got a kid with, with Big. She has more to lose by being honest than being truthful. Did you know that Faith Evan never met her biological father? Though her mother was black, her father was Italian, and he signed out of her life early, leaving young Faith with her mom, Helen Evans. Making matters more complicated, her mother decided to chase her dreams, leaving Faith in foster care. Her mother, Helen, was only 19 when she left Little Faith. Little Faith started singing in the church choir at age two and was a bright kid. She was an honor student in high school and won a full scholarship to Fordham University. However, she dropped out after a year to pursue a singing career. Her personal life had been a roller coaster. Faith had her first child, China, with musician and producer Kayama Griffin at 19 but they separated afterward. Did you know she married legendary rapper Notorious B.I.G. Wallace just eight days after meeting him? They were attracted to each other at first sight. The late rapper and Faith Evans met during a studio recording and Biggie thought, this is my wife, the first time he saw her. Biggie came over to her during a break and they talked about her daughter, China, saying he also had a daughter. Evans thought Biggie was warm, protective, and cozy. They hit it off immediately. We started during a photo shoot for Bad Boy Records, where Faith was the only female artist signed. I was sitting at, a, at the lunch table having a break, and I think I was looking at some photographs, and he asked, could he see my pictures? Big's like, is that your daughter? And I'm like, yes. And then he's like, oh, I have a daughter, too. So he would kind of come and make conversation or stand over me and ask, who was that? Like, <laughs> like look at that, like, you know, as if he knew me already. Something about him is that was very warm and... and, and cozy, that type of guy, just very warm and caring and, and physical. He had never met anyone like Faith, and he knew that from the second that he met her, that he was in love with her. From the moment he laid eyes on he was like, that's my wife. I think we both just knew we had very strong feelings. Eight days later, they were married, and Faith Evans was just 21. Evans loved everything about Biggie, even his philandering, though sometimes his relationship with Lil' Kim got under her skin. She once visited Biggie's hotel room to find Lil' Kim sleeping there. When Evans threw Lil' Kim out of the room, Lil' Kim got so angry she scratched the paintwork of Evans' Land Cruiser. Evans said she could not be mad at him because Biggie was so honest. She would ask him, did you do it? And he would say, yeah. I'd be like, you, yo, did you Yeah. Call her right now to the room. Tell her right now to come in, I'll tell her. <laughs> she knew what was happening most of the time, but loved him for his other qualities. On March 8, 1997, Christopher Notorious B.I.G. Wallace was murdered near a Soul Train Music Awards party in Los Angeles. Faith Evans also attended the party, but she had left early. And they were like, you gonna go speak that go big and then I was like, no, he see me, you know, <laughs> just, you know, just that that whole prideful thing. But there was an after party at a house in the hills. As we were driving up the Hollywood Hills, Heavy D saw me getting out of my car, walking up to the house where the party was, and he told me, I think something happened to Big. I think you should get 
go in the car and go to the hospital because I think something happened. With the long drawn rivalry between the West Coast and the East Coast, Evans always feared for Biggie's life. But the news was quite a shock for her and she went into a deep depression. And then the doctor actually told me that we had lost Big. There's nothing really to describe how I felt like when they said that he was dead. I was like, whoa, like, they go. I didn't know what to do. But she managed to move on and tied the knot with studio executive Todd Russo just nine months after the death of B.I.G. Wallace. The 14-year marriage to Russo was colorful, with Evans being arrested for drug possession and drunk driving during the period. However, the marriage with Todd ended in 2011. Faith Evans and Todd have two children together. Faith Evans made a happy, blended family. She has four kids and seven stepchildren. Faith Renee Evans is 50 years old and has a net worth of three million. Yes, we are all waiting for the comeback of the first lady of Bad Boy Records. She still rocks.